This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, I'm going to have Shabbos Rabbi as we prepare for Parashas Beha Aloyscha. Well, in uh, this week's parasha, in Parak Yud, Pasuk Chavtes, the Pasuk says, Vayoymer Moshe, Moshe says, Lechoivav, to Choivav, Ben Ruel Hamidyani, the son of Ruel the Midianite, Chaisein Moshe, the father in law of Moshe. So Moshe is talking to the Shver. He says, Noisim Anachnu El Amachem. We're traveling to the place, Asher Omar Hashem, that God said, Oisayatein Lachem. I'm going to give it to you. Basically, we're going to the Holy Land. Lechayitanu, come with us. Veheitavnu Lach. We will do good to you. Ki Hashem Dibar Toiv Al Yisrael. God spoketh good on Israel. Vayoy Merelov, he said, Lo Yelech, I'm not going. Ki Yemel Arzi, I'm going to my land. Veyel Mailada Ti Yelech, I'm going to my birthplace. Vayoymer, no, I'll not tazoi voisan, no, don't forsake us. Ki alken yadata chai nesin ma midbar, you know our camps in the midbar. Vayisalonu leinoim, you will be eyes for us. Vayoymer, will be kisei lechimanu, if you go with us. Vayoymer, hatoi vahu, then that good, asho yetev Hashem imanu, that God did with us. Vayitavnu lach, you will do good to you. Very unusual for a son-in-law to actually be inviting the father-in-law. <laughs> I mean, if his father-in-law doesn't want to go, okay, fine, it's okay, you sure? You sure? And Moshe is begging him. Yeah. Moshe turns to his father-in-law, he says, we're leaving now, come with us. And then he says, no! So, okay, you know, the one time, one invitation, one, nobody takes anybody up on the first invitation. Everybody knows a first invitation is always insincere. Nobody really means it. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to come over? Oh, no, oh, oh, okay, fine, no problem. <laughs> oh, can I come? No, 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 I, I, uh, something just came up. Of course not. But here, he offers, he says no, and he keeps on pressing him. And the question is, and uh, we took it from Likute Mamarim Shvile Pinchas, um, we had this chus to host him in our shul recently, Rav Pinchas Friedman. He brings up this question, Madua hishtoikek Moshe Rabbeinu kolkach? Why was Moshe yearning so much? V'hiftzir b'yisrei choysnai And pressing his father-in-law, she'd star fel Yisrael, lava yimohem l'Eretz Yisrael, to come with them to Eretz Yisrael. <coughs> and basically, the Sefer Shvile Pinchas gathers six pieces from the various writings of the Chassam Sefer, which really give us the world view of the Chassam Soifer and how the Chassam Soifer addresses this question. But again, you have to appreciate it's not just an isolated idea of the Chassam Soifer, it's really based on his whole approach and his whole value system. For example, the Chassam Soifer and the Drosh's Chassam Soifer and Chelek Aleph, Daf Yurches, he writes an astounding thing about the emphasis that he placed on probably the most important mitzvah in the Torah, which by now you know already is Talmud Torah, learning Torah. But now we're going to get even more specific within the mitzvah of learning Torah. What is the highest form of learning Torah? And that is, says Sam Soifer, Vihine ze yoiser me'ar bo'im shana. It's been more than 40 years. Tough Lamed Yotaf, that stands for Toidol Akel Yisbarach, thank God, Shalei Nizbat Lo Yeshiva Me'al Shulchani Afilu Yoy Mechad, that I did not give up teaching Torah even one day. Vehashta Hacha, but now over here, Rabba Avanoisai, because of my many sins, Vegabra Lai Choyli, and my sickness, Vechoylima, Venezbat Halti Harbi Marabatsas Torah. Nebuch, unfortunately, I lost out on being Marbet's Torah. Vatamidim Omdu, Viyachalu Kematerli. These students, they stand up and they are like rain to me. Vlayachalti Lashbiyam Kurtsoinam. I cannot influence them like their desire. Vahareni Akar. And it's like I have no children. So you see the value the Chassam Soifer placed on teaching Torah. That he says for 40 years he did not let a day go by where he didn't teach Talmidim. And now, unfortunately, he doesn't have that privilege. And he's not able to influence. Says the Chassam Soifer, teaching the Talmidim is like rearing children. It's like raising children. And now that I can't do it anymore, it's like I'm an Akar. In fact, the Chassam Soifer, of course, we know, wrote Tshuvais. He's one of the only people all time who was, number one, a Rav of a city. He was the Rav of um, Pressburg. 
he was a Rosh Hashiva. Nowadays, it's like, uh, you know, two different departments. Rav, Rosh Hashiva. He was both, but besides that, he was also a Meshiv. He responded to Chubas from all over the world. And in the Hakdama to the Chassam Soifer's Chubas on Yoradea, you have the comments of Rav Shimon Soifer. The, Ch- the Chassam Soifer writes, Kol Masav v'yigiyoisav lo hoyo kiyim lezakis esachirim ulashpil lezulasai. All of the activities of the Chassam Soifer were only to be mezake and be mashpi on others. Miyoim heyoisoi ben yurches shonim ad heyois ben ayin ches. From 18 to 65. Excuse me, to 75. 78. 78. Whoa. Good point. From 18 to 78. Yeah. From 18 to 78. How many years is that? No. 18 to 78. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Loma Torah Barabim Kishin Jai taught 60 years. Ad kibod var Hashem lohitzi es ha'ar min artiko until God came to take out the light from its sheath. Umoisha ola lekim on a Thursday, the 25th day of Tishrei. The year 600. That's what's the year 600? 1840. Shamati mipi va kadosh. That from the day he began teaching Torah to Talmidim, not one day a year went by that he was not Marbitz Torah Barabim except for Tishabav. Even the night of Yom Kippur, he would gather people together and teach them the Seder Havayda. So we're talking about somebody who obviously placed a great emphasis on not only Talmud Torah, but Harbat Torah, where the Chassam Sefer said that he had the all-time streak, you know, 40 consecutive years of teaching Torah without interruption from the age of 18 to the age of 78, 60 years. Not a day would go by except for Tisha B'av. And therefore, the Chassam Sefer... Who better than the Chassam Soifer to ask this question? And that is, we're going to see, the Chassam Soifer is bothered by a question that I don't think anyone else could have even thought of. And if Harbasa's Torah is such an important mitzvah, then what's going to be, what's going to be when Mashiach comes? Because the Navi tells us, hayamim, the Navi Yirmiya says, look at number five, oid ishes re'eyu, no man will teach their friend, ishes achiv, no man will teach their brother Lamar, es Hashem, no, there'll be no more teachers, no more Rashi Shivas, no more Rabbanim, no more Rabbeim, no more Magide Shurim. It says, Lo yalamdu oid ishes re'eyu. Nobody will need to say, Du'u es Hashem, no God. Ki kulam yedu oisi. They'll all know me. L'miktanam yad gedoylam. From small to large. Ki eslach la'avoynam. I will forgive their sin. La'asid lavai, there will be no teachers. To the point where the Chassam Soifer writes, in the Drashos Chassam Soifer, Chelek Beis, <coughs> on the words of the Haggadah, tell me if you remember these words. Kal dichvin Anyone who's hungry, come and eat. Hashat hacha. Says the Chassam Soifer, Ratzaloimer. Ki la asid lavoi, lo yia oid kenani. There'll be no more goyim. Dar shuchazal, lo yia kan oni. Kenani means, there'll be no more poor people. And kein bato mitzvah tzedaka. When Mashiach comes, no, there's no more collections. V'oid ksiv. It says in Yirmiya, Kulam yoidim es Hashem, lo yuktan v'yagidolam. Uma la haretz deya es Hashem. And the great mitzvah of teaching Torah will end. Al Kain. That's why the Navi tells us, Remember your Creator. It says, You better start doing mitzvahs before the days are coming that you don't want. By the way, what are the days that are coming that we don't want? Mashiach. The days that we don't want are Mashiach. Why? Hainu Yumaisa Mashiach. Some people say we want Mashiach now. Most of Kaiso doesn't say we want Mashiach now. Most of Kaiso follows the Pasuk that says we don't want Mashiach now. You say real right? We don't say we we don't say Hashem bring Mashiach now. We say Anna I believe it's coming. It doesn't mean I want it to come. You say what? It sounds heretical. You don't want Mashiach to come? Yes. We don't want Mashiach to come. You know why? Because when Mashiach comes, there's no more no more schar. No more schar. There'll be no poor, poor people, so you can't give tzedakah. There'll be no people who don't know Tyra. 
You can't teach anyone. There's nobody to teach in Oregon when Mashiach comes. Nobody to teach. You have to come back to New York. Little, little children are also going to know. Everybody. Miktanum v'yad gedolam. Right? Miktanum. Umalaha oretz deya kamayim layam achasim. And therefore, sahaynu yimazu perish ramban, she'ein bohem chefetz v'ratzay nubo. You know what it means? Yomim ha'she'ein bohem chefetz. There's no chefetz to do something wrong. All we're going to want to do is serve Hashem. Al Kain, the Haggadah says, Kol dichvin yesev yechal. You're hungry, come and eat now. Ki l'shana haba, next year we're in Jerusalem, no more aniyim. V'lo inu chalakayim mitzvah l'fanis aniyim. Chol ditzrich yesev yifsach. You know what a ditzrich is? Anyone who is needy and needs to know how to serve Hashem, come now and we'll tell you. L'shan haba, kulanu b'nei choyrim, we'll all be learning Torah. We will not be able to be mekayim the mitzvah of l'lamei l'achirim. Therefore, we urge everyone, anyone who needs to give tzedakah, do it now. Anyone who needs to teach Torah, do it now. But there'll be a lot of people out of a job. <laughs> all the rabbis, all the rashivas, <laughs> all the rabbanim. <laughs> there'll be no more hatred for Israel, no more killing Jews, no more poverty. Isn't that worth it? For you, it's a problem. You're a it's a problem for you. <laughs> 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 That's not a problem. <laughs> so, will we have Tariq Mitzvah sometime? Yeah, Vada, but you're not going to get as much schar. Kulam yedu I see. Lamektanam yad gedoylam. Yeah, now I'll do it, but. Uh, then so that, that means it's not going to be chal. It's going to be chal. It just practically it won't need to be done. By the way, so therefore, how, what's going to be with the great mitzvah of teaching Torah la Asad Lavai? Now, to me, to me, it was very, it was very poignant that, like, who would even think of this question? Why would somebody think what's going to be with the mitzvah of teaching Torah when Mashiach comes? Only someone who values it so much and cares about it so much and loves it so much, if you really, the more you love something, the more you value something, the more you're worried about what's going to happen when it becomes obsolete. Nobody is worried. I never heard somebody, what's going to be with spinach? <laughs> what's going to be? Oy vey. There's a, we can't, well, I heard that spinach might go extinct. I never heard anybody <laughs> shed a tear. I happen to like spinach, but I never heard like a crisis. But when you're worried about something, when you love something, you are. So Sam Seifer, who said about himself, 40 consecutive years, he was not Mavato, Harbatsa's Torah, from age 18 to age 70, 60 years, he's worried what's going to be. Look at number 8. Why is that worried about Kalei Yisrael? They killed and destroyed and hated right. and programs and that's not going to be anymore. Is that more important? Than There'll teacher? always be Kalei Yisrael. Well, there'll always be Klal Yisrael, and even more important is what's going to be with the mitzvahs. But there'll be no hatred in Klal there'll be no killing in Klal Yisrael, Jews dying every day, and it's true all over the place. That wouldn't be any word of still away. Is that more worth than the balance? Is that, balance? Is that more worth than anything okay. else? Maybe, totally let's see. Look at number eight. Seven. Se- look at number eight for a minute. Says Aksam Soifer, he's bothered by this question. Benir Ali, kach, de la asalava iksiv. Lots of love, it says. Ki kulam yadu oisi lemektanam v'yad gedoylam. It says, lots of love, everyone will know me from small to large. V'nirali, mikamakam le'yizbat el mitzvahs v'lamadatem es b'neichem. The mitzvah of v'lamadatem will not be bought. Why? Ki al kalpanam yizkayim eitzel talmidim. You'll have students. And who are they? Me'uma yizhaylam. The goyim. <laughs> Let's go up to the house of the Beis and you'll be able to teach them. In other words, nowadays, who do you teach? You teach your students, you teach Jewish people, you teach your children, you teach your grandchildren, you teach your friends. What's going to be when Mashiach comes? The only alternative is look at number 7, the Pasuk in Yeshaya that says, Hadavra Asher Chaza Yeshayo Ben Amois Al Yehudav Yushalayim V'hoyo B'yachris Hayama It will be in the end of days. Nachain Yia Har Beis Hashem Firm, established, will be the mountain of God. B'roi Shaharim on the top of the mountains. V'nisa Megvois It will be on high on the valleys. V'naru Elav Kal Yom All the Gaim will stream there. Many nations will go over Amru. They'll say, "Lachuvenalel Har Hashem." Let's go up to the mountain of Hashem. Albeis alekei Yaakov. Vioirenu midrachav. Let us learn from their ways. Vinel chabar achaisa. Why? Ki yimitzia intei tzeisayra. 
Now, what that has to do with Simchas Torah, nothing to really. <laughs> but now, I don't know. It must have something to do. But it's not talking about that. So Navua that La'asad Lavai Torah will come forth from Siyain. So La'asad Lavai, the mitzvah of Talmud Tov Harbatzas Torah will be Neskayim only by who? Goyim. Goyim. He'll have a job anyway. So, Baruch Hashem, I hope, <laughs> hopefully, we'll still be employed. But it says, Vishinantam Levanecha. Levanecha, Goyim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vishinantam Levanecha, who's that? Elu? Hatamidim. Hatamidim. They are the Talmidim. Levanecha is the Talmidim. They, are, they will be the students. So, that's the, that's the, you see the concern of the Chsam Soifer. The concern of the Chsam Soifer is, what's going to be with Harbatzas Torah? Who are you going to teach? Who are you going to teach? After all, the Pasuk says, Kulam yedu I see, Meketanam viad gedoylam. And the answer is, Geirim. So now the Chassam Soifer says, now we figured out Pshad in this week's parasha. Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Yisrael, we're going to the Holy Land. We're going to Eretz Yisrael. Now this is predicated on the concept that if Moshe Rabbeinu would have gone into Eretz Yisrael, that would have been That's the Gula. It. That's it! We're in, we're in. Yavai Mashiach, Baruch Habo Melech HaMashiach. Then we could sing that song. And Moshe Rabbeinu would have gone into Eretz Yisrael, built the base of Mikdash, and we know Chazal teaches the base of Mikdash would have stood forever. So what's going to be with one of the mitzvahs in the Torah? If Moshe Rabbeinu, oh, if Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to go to Eretz Yisrael, and the Mashiach would have come, it would be the Gula Asida. Moshe Rabbeinu says, I got myself a problem. Who am I going to teach Torah to? Hey, Shver. He calls up the Shver. <laughs> and Moshe Rabbeinu knows the Shver is a ger. You mind coming with us? So Yisrael says, Nah, I can't go. I said, No, please. Behoya ha kisele chimonu. If you go with us, behoya ha toiv hahu. Then the good ain't toiv ella toira. Asher yitiv Hashem imonu that Hashem gave to us. Ve'itav nuach. We'll give it to you. Says the Chassam Sefer. That's why Moshe Rabbeinu is begging the Shver to come with him. Otherwise, Moshe Rabbeinu is out of job. Well, what's he going to do in Eretz Yisrael? By the Kenanim. No, no, they supposed were, to kill. Yes. In other words, yes. again, yes. you know, you got you pick your Talmidim, which Gerim he, you want. Air of Rav, you want the Air of Rav. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm a rabbi. You don't want you don't want the Air of Rav as your Talmidim. Okay. So it says the Chassam Sefer, look number nine. V'hu al pi ma'asha amar Moshe Rabbeinu liYisrael, al no tazoi voisanu. Do not leave us. V'hayu min atoi v'hu asher yeta v'ashem imanu v'hitav nulach u'pirashnu kavanosoi kach. We explain this follows. Ki ikur toivasoi shal adam lehetiv laachrini ulalamid das laacher. The main chesed you could do for somebody else is to teach them Torah. Yeah, well, well you can give somebody money. It's a toiva, no question. But the biggest toiva you could give somebody is to teach them Torah. Ula asid lava yasher lo yalamdu oid ishas reyeyu la asid lava when there's no teachers ki kulam yadu I see yia ikur toivaseinu what's going to be the main chesed le lamid im umay tzayilam to learn with the goyim like we learned in Yeshaya Perik Beis asher yavayu v'yomer l'chu v'nelcha b'ar Hashem v'yareinu midrachav v'nei Moshe abeinu lav Hashem chashav oz Moshe thought. She yavers hayarden. He would cross the yarden. The ayonichlas azor haaz oylam atikon. Moshe Rabbeinu figures to himself, he'll enter Eretz Yisrael and call it a day. Basically, you know that would be the end of the first era in history. Vayukulam yoydim as Hashem. And then from Moshe Rabbeinu says, "What am I going to do all day?" It wasn't, by the way. I, I'm just saying it, you know, humorously. It's not that Moshe Rabbeinu is worried that he's going to be out of a job. But if you understand that the world was created for chesed, and the greatest chesed you could offer somebody else is to teach them about Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu, his midas ha-chesed, his neshama, yearned to be able to do that. Al came bikesh mi Yisroi, therefore request from Yisroi, sheyelech imoem. So you should go with them, kedei sheyelem ger tzedek. At least we'll have one righteous convert. And that's what Moshe says to Yisrael. Then the goodness that Hashem does with us. What's the greatest good that Hashem does with us? We will give over to you. Now, this idea that if Moshe Rabbeinu would have entered Eretz Yisrael, it would have been the Tikkun HaShalem is uh, just, it's, you should know, it's a well-documented idea. 
Um, Chazal tell us... Didn't want that, right? I mean, that's why he didn't let him go in. No, I, I don't know if Hashem didn't want it. I, whatever happens, Hashem wants, but Moshe Rabbeinu, because of his sin and because of the, the sin of Klal Yisrael, they didn't go in. But the idea that it would have been the Tukhan HaSholem, that is well-documented idea. The, 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 yeah. What, why don't you say Klai Yisrael knew the whole Torah? He's teaching Klai Yisrael the Torah. He just has money after Yisrael. Correct, but once they go in, once they go in, Kulam Yoydim I see you, Malah Aretz Deah. He gave them, goes in their mind, let's learn. They put a new chip in their brain. Somehow there's going to be some kind of overflow, like, you know, in the times of Arizal. It will affect him too. So what? Israel too. Whatever will affect Israel will affect Israel also. No, apparently well, not. Apparently think? not. Apparently not, because, we, I mean, we see in the Navi, we see in the Navi that the Goyim are going to come to the base of Megdash and they ask to be taught. That means whatever Hashvam and Hashamayim is coming down, and Allah Azdeya is primarily uh, ben- the beneficiaries are us, and then we could then give it over to the to the Gerim. Well, the Megala Mukais writes in his 20th Perush of 252, we know the Megala Mukais wrote 252 Perushim on the Tfila Moshe to go into Eretz Yisrael. The Megal Mukha says like this, Tam Shaini Lama Hutsuk Moshe Leo is covered by Ever Yardin. One of the this one of the reasons why Moshe Rabbeinu needed to be buried on the other side of the of the, of the Jordan, based on the, what the Gemara says in Saita, Rava Darshan on the Pasuk La Yesharim Nava Sahila. Don't read it Nava Ella Ma Ilu Moshe Vadavid. Nava is Ilu Moshe Vadavid, Shall I show it to Sanam Masyadim? We know anything that they built could not be destroyed. That bottom line is that it was a tremendous taiva that Moshe didn't build a Beis HaMikdash and that David didn't build a Beis HaMikdash. Why? Because if they would have, we know that the Mishkan was never destroyed. If Moshe or David would have built a Beis HaMikdash, they never would be able to destroy it. So then when Kha Yisrael sinned, and basically, Rav Hashem is up the creek, what's, how's he going to punish us? So, Baruch Hashem, David didn't build a base of Mikdash. And now the base of Mikdash was built in a way that it could be destroyed. And Hashem was able to vent his anger on Eitzim Avonim. But if Moshe Rabbeinu would have built a base of Mikdash, we wouldn't have had viability. But, but this idea... What? 1.1 million people, Jews died. Yeah, but, but the fact that we're here today, is, it's, it's because we Hashem vented on Eitzim Avonim. But this is an idea... Rabbi Isai, that it was a toiva that uh, Moshe did not build a base of Mikdash. Had he gone in, that would have been it. That would have been the Tikkun HaShalim. Interestingly, so this is how the Chassam Soifer explains the episode in this week's parsha, where Moshe Rabbeinu is begging Yisrael, do us a favor, come in with us. Why? So that, since this would have been it, we would have somebody to teach Torah to. Chassam Soifer in other places is not satisfied with this, with this, um, possibility, and he offers a different possibility. Other Talmidim. Because ultimately the Chassam Soifer feels, we're going to see in many places, that this Hashba of Das, of um, kamayim layam and by the way, let, let's just digress for a moment. Kamayim layam I ask you a question. What does the word Yam mean? Ocean, sea. sea, right? No, it does not mean that. It? Yam does not mean sea. Yeah, but, but uh, if you look in the Ben Yehuda dictionary, it says sea. That's right. <laughs> but it's not what it means. Yam means the sea bed. Not the sea. Think about the Pasuk. By the way, what I'm telling you, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky writes in the Emes Yaakov, also Rabbi Simcha Wasserman writes this. Umala haradzdeya kamayim layam achasim. Like water covers the sea. Water doesn't cover the sea. It, it fills the seabed. The yam is the seabed. Like it says, Shlomo HaMelech made a receptacle for water in the first place of English. It was called the yam. A yam is a receptacle for water. Maybe not in modern Hebrew, but in biblical Hebrew, the word yam means a seabed. Well, the Chassam Soifer will see feels that ultimately the proliferation of Das will affect all mankind. So we're out, not only we're not only we out Talmidim, not only out our children, we're out Gerim also. So who are we going to teach? Animals. We bring them up to the level of humans. <laughs> they don't have to, that's a difference. They robots, don't have to die. No, so we're going to teach Malachi Hasharis. Uh, we're going to teach the angels. We're going to teach Malachi. What about How do we know? 
How do we know this? The Pasuk, the Pasuk says in Parshas Balak, Ki nachash biyakov, there is no divination to Yaakov, v'loi kesem Yisrael. Ka'is, at this time, Ye'omer li Yaakov li Yisrael will be said of Yaakov Yisrael, Ma po al kel, what's God doing? Says Rashi. You ever hear of Rashi? Says Rashi. Oid osid li oises, a time will come. Ka'is hazois. Asher tegala chibasan le'in kal. That my love for you will be revealed to everyone. Kal of shehin yoishvin lefanov. We will sit before God. You ask, how's everybody going to know Torah? V'loim dim Torah mi piv! That's how. You know why? It's not that all of a sudden there's going to be a chip in the brain. There's still going to be a Rebbe. But it's not going to be a, a Rebbe of flesh. It's going to be... Hashem. It's going to be Anoichi Hashem. It's going to be from Malame Torah Lama Yisrael. It's going to be Rebbe Hashem himself. Umechitzasan lefnim mi malachi Hashem. But the base Medrus is going to have walls. There'll be some inside and some outside. Who will be outside? The heavenly angels. Mm-hmm. They're going to ask, what's Kel doing? Your eyes should see your teacher. That refers to God. Pal pe. Pal Says Rashi, another Rashi. You heard of Rashi? Rashi in Shir Hashirim says on the words, Yisha keni minishika is pi who kiss us from the kisses of your mouth. We ask God to kiss us. What, what is that? What is that? Says uh, Rashi. God kissed us once. When is that? Nafshi yatsa bedabra yad matan tayra. Hashem taught us tayra pel pe. God promises us He's going to kiss us again. When is that? La asid lavai. We ask God. We're waiting. Yisha keni minishika is pi. That Hashem is going to teach us again, Pe'al Pe'al. Says the Chsam Soifer, the story of Avraham Avinu with the Malachi Hashares, where the sun comes out of its case and burns everybody up, nobody could come out except for the Malachim. Malachim. This is basically a pre-enactment of La'asad Lavai, when there'll be no more Rishayim. And there'll be nobody to teach other than the Malachi Hashares. That was that. The episode of Avraham Avinu with the Malachim was like a page out of La'asad Lavai. It's sort of the pre-enactment of the end of days when there'll be no wicked people. Everybody's going to know God. So who is a great person like Avraham Avinu going to teach? Malachi Asharis. Look at number 14. The Chsam Soifer writes on the Pasuk. Vayera elav kechayim ayoyim perish Rashi shenetstayer al shapasku orchim mevnei roiv chayim ayoyim. Our Avinu was netstayer that the wayfarer stopped. V'shilach malachim he sent messengers. He sent Hashem sent angels. Nearly remez says the Sam Soifer to me this is a remez. That laosu lavoi kechayim ayoyim yoytzi cham amin artika. God's gonna take out the sun. V'liyedo arbiim. He's gonna burn up those. Arbiim. If you don't know what that means, I'm not able to translate right now. Hayoyim haba boyer ketaner. That day will come like a burning oven. V'yitztaru Yisrael and the Jews will be bitzar. Why? Shelo yilam lemi lilmoid. You have no one to teach. Ki chasidim was only kvar nasu geirim gurim. All the goyim, they're all righteous geirim. Urasham yuniflatim b'chayim ayam. The wicked have died, so they're no wicked people, and all the geirim are are converts. The angels are going to come. What did God teach you? You want to share it with us? What, what was the share today? What did you learn? You learned Gemara. But la'asid lavai, la'asid lavai. Kulam yedu I see. Hashem's going to teach everybody. Rabbi Sai. Let's get down to business here. What's the purpose of life? Serve Hashem. Serve Hashem. Which mitzvah? Lima Torah. The Pasuk says in Eoiv, Perak Hey, Pasuk Zayin, Ki Adam Le'amal Yulad. Man was created to toil. What kind of toil? What kind of work? Says the Gemara in Sanhedrin, Dav Tzadi Tes, Amar Rabbi Lazar, Kal Adam Le'amal Nivra. Every man was created to toil. Shenemar, Ki Adam Le'amal Yulad. Okay, Eni Yodeim Le'amal Pe Nivraim Le'amal Malacha. Is it with your mouth or is it in the farm? Now it doesn't mean the farm. No, there's no having me to God create us just to toil on the farm. It means maybe it's to learn Tyro with your mouth 
or maybe it's to do mitzvahs maisiyos, chesed, tzedakah, lulav and esrog, kisho oimer ki afa achaf alav piu. When the pasuk continues ki ach alav piu, by the way, achaf is gematria one hundred and one. Remember, and so is piu. When it says Gavulia, have you learned Amal Penivra? Vadayin any of them? Amal Toira? Am I Amal Sicha? Is it learning or is it davening? Kshu Oimer lo Yomosh Sefer Al Toira Hazemi Picha. Have you learned La Amal Toira Nivra? But there's a Gemara in Sefer Ruchos Tachlis Toira Shuvu Masim Toira. That's the Tachlis. Tachlis is Toira. But the Tachlis of creation is to get there. Yeah, but the Tachlis is to get there through Toira, and and means according to the Gemara. To learn to do the mitzvah, power, power. That's what you're created for. Says the Masha, and what kind of Torah? Adam le'amal yulad. Meaning, amilus the Torah. To put an effort, and to review it, and to teach it. Says the Masha, a remez nifla. A person who's created le'amal Lil Moid Almanas Lilamid. Li Amal to learn in order to teach. Li Amal stands for Lil Moid Almanas Lilamid. By the way, the Chsam Sefer writes. So let's, let's just um, digress for a moment. And that is, we say, well, yeah, but I'm not, a, I'm not, that's not what I do. I'm not a Rebbe, I'm not a Rav, I'm not a Rosh Hashiva, I'm not a Magachir. Yeah, but everybody on their level. You have a Shabbos table, make sure you utilize it. You're, at that point, you're a Rosh Hashiva, you're a Rav, you're a Rebbe. Give it over to somebody else. You meet your friend, you tell them the Dvar Torah. You tell your family, you tell your wife, you tell your children, you tell your grandchildren, you tell your Chaveirim. Keep on saying it over. That is where everybody has the opportunity. You learn, and you learn in order to give over. The Chassam Soifer writes uh, also a very amazing thing. Says the Chassam you may think, you know, if I spend time giving over, then I don't have enough time to learn. I'm not going to be able to learn as much. So is it worth the sacrifice? So the Chassam Sofer says like this. This is in number 18, Chilak Bez, page Tof Tes. He says, V'hinei ha-mechuvan belimudai. The goal of learning is sheyeda ha-tayra. It's just to know the Torah. Gam ki mitzvah rabahi. Knowing the Torah is a great mitzvah. Mikomakim einenu matzliach belimudai. Ki ilu haya miskavin lahagia al tachlas ki al tachlas alamid laacherim. In other words, if you want to be successful in your learning, then you should do it in order to give over. Ki az haya memela matzneich bilumuda shal atza yoiser meyata. Then you'll be even more successful. In other words, if a person learns to be able to teach it, afal pisha lechayra enokein. Even though you would think that's counterintuitive, if I'm learning to be able to give it over, if I'm busy giving it over to others, I lose time from learning myself. No, since God's will is to give for you to teach it, that's the purpose of learning. And if the main purpose is to benefit others. As I'm a chuyav in your zedia taras, that's many yoyse matzlach. And then what's going to happen is that your learning will be much greater. In other words, two people can be learning the same thing. If one person is learning it to be able to say it to somebody else, to give it to somebody else, you're learning a masechta. So good. Then get a chavrusa after and teach it to him. Then not only will you get it clearer, your own personal learning will be on a much higher level. Says Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. We'll end with this. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai kibel mehila umishamai. Hu haya oimer, he would say, im lamada to Torah harbe. If you learnt a lot of Torah, al tachzik Torah laatzmacha. Don't give yourself credit. Ki lekach noitzarta. That's what you were created for. So the question is, you shouldn't give yourself credit. If there's anything to give yourself credit for, that this would be it. I understand. If you make a lot of money, don't give yourself credit. If you could dunk a basketball. Don't give yourself credit. If you, if you could do a, a somersault, don't give yourself credit. But, I mean, th- this is what we're here for. So why shouldn't you give yourself credit if, if you learn a lot? So you have scar limud, or you only get the scar if you take the limud and you, and you pass it on? You certainly get scar. Of course, you definitely get scar. But the highest madriga 
is if you're able to to give it over. So isn't the highest madrega that you actually live the life of what you learn? Didn't we learn many times that a tzaddik who sits and learns and sits and learns and sits and learns, but doesn't live and pass on and be a mensch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it does say in Perkei Avais that the highest level is Lomoid Amanas Lassois. Right? Lomoid Amanas Lassois. Well, it's even higher than Lomoid Amanas Alamed. But on the other hand, the greatest taiva, the greatest, the greatest benefit that you could give somebody is to give them uh, Yediyas Hashem. But I just want to, we'll end with this. There's a, a novel way of reading this Mishnah. And I, I believe the Masil Sasham reads it this way as well. Im lamadata Torah harbe. If you learned a lot of Torah, al tachzik toiva la'atzmecha. Don't grab onto the toiva. What's ein toivela? Torah. Don't keep it for yourself. Kilakach noit sarta. That's what you came for too. Dish it out. Says the Medrash Shmuel Inami. Medrash Shmuel Shmuel di Uzido. One of the classic commentaries on. Perkei Avos, he says, "Inami im um, Amar im Lamada to Torah Harbe, the Hasagas Torah Harbe, the Sagta Torah Harbe. You achieved a lot of Torah. Al Taksa Toiva Shia Torah La Atzmacha Levad Veloy Tirzal Amel Achem Rak Yafutsu Mayin Oisecha Chutza. Be a wellspring outside of yourself and don't keep it to yourself. By the way, the Avos as well, the Koshen Samagid also learns likewise, and he ends off. He ends off also with the same." Remez Adam Leomal Yulad Rashi Tevos Lilmoid Amanas Alamit, and everybody according to their level is able to be Mekayim this in some way, and it's a Madrega that we should all strive for. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.